Hello, my name is Edward Bechtel. I'm a solutions architect at Equinix. We're going to set up a one gig Hurricane Electric virtual circuit to my network edge device today. We're going to first go over to my virtual device. And from here, you'll see as I scroll down, it's set up and registered. I have no connection set up for it right now. And if you look at the interfaces, you'll see that one, the Gigabit Ethernet 3 connection is actually dedicated for connecting to a network service provider. I'm going to click on connect to a network service provider to get started. Then I'm going to go to find an existing service provider. Then I'm going to connect to a service provider and search on Hurricane Electric. Then select. And we're going to go down here and create a one gig connection. If you do not have a Hurricane Electric account already, you'll want to go to sales at he.net and start an account. You will need an account before you can start a virtual circuit. I'm going to select Silicon Valley. And here I'm going to select my network edge device because I'm going to connect the service to network edge. And I'll set the destination for Silicon Valley. And next. I'm going to put in a connection name here. The ASN number is set up for providing Hurricane Electric with your ASN if you have one. This is for BGB pairing. This is optional. I'm going to select one gigabit, and then you'll notice all the other entries are in one gigabit increments. Select Next. You'll see here I'm going to review the connection summary. I can also add any further notifications that I want to, and submit your order. Once this is done, I can go back to my device, look at my interfaces. You'll see the one gig Hurricane Electric connection is now set up to my Gigabit Ethernet 3 device. Here to connections, you'll see this is a virtual circuit that I've created. While I'm waiting for it to be approved, you'll notice a pending approval. And then you also notice that the primary BGP information is blank. I checked with Hurricane Electric, and my one gigabit circuit has now been approved. I select it now. I go in, I will see that it's provisioned. Provider status available. As I scroll down, you will see the primary BGP information. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. You'll see these values here are for test purposes. However, the remote ASN, that is Hurricane Electric's ASN number that's used for any BGP pairing that you may need to do. However, a BGP authentication key is not needed. And now my information is accepted. We're done creating our Hurricane Electric connection to Network Edge.